Chapter 4 The driver's door swung open. The driver jumped down and came running toward us. He was a big man with scraggly black hair and a short black beard. His belly bounced under the shirt of his ring of blue uniform. Bella! Bella? Amanda had her hands cupped around her mouth and was still shouting the cat's name, but we both knew the truth. I'm real sorry, the truck driver called as he raced to the sidewalk. I, I couldn't stop in time. I don't believe it, Amanda said in a whisper. She covered her face with her hands. This didn't happen. No way. The driver stopped a few feet in front of us, breathing hard. The cat, it ran right under my tires, he said. I'm real sorry. There was nothing I could do. It happened so fast. I tried to answer him, but the words caught in my throat. I was shaking so hard, I grabbed onto Amanda's shoulder to keep from falling over. Her whole body trembled. She had her hands over her face. She kept repeating, This didn't happen. It didn't. It didn't happen. I felt sick, like I was going to puke. I kept swallowing, trying to force it down. I really tried to stop, the truck driver said softly. He bowed his head. Sorry. I'm really sorry. He turned and walked slowly back to his truck, keeping his head lowered. A few seconds later, he started the truck engine and rumbled off. The Kaplans, I stammered. What are we going to say to them? Amanda finally lowered her hands. Her cheeks were wet from tears. She shook her head. I don't know, Mickey. How can we face them? We killed their cat. It, it was an accident, I started. We... No, it wasn't, Amanda said in a whisper. We were arguing and we didn't realize. We left the door wide open. It's our fault. It wasn't an accident. Her shoulders shook. My stomach churned. A groan escaped my throat. The body, Amanda whispered. I stared at her. What did you say? We have to get Bella's body, Amanda said. We can't just leave her in the middle of the street like, like roadkill. Roadkill. The words repeated in my mind. Bella. Roadkill. If only I could push a wee wine button. Make time go back just a few minutes. Just long enough to close our front door and save Bella's life. Okay, I said. I took a deep breath. I started walking slowly to the street. Wait up, Mickey, Amanda said. Her voice trembled. We'll go together. My legs were shaking as I stepped onto the curb. We need a trash bag or something, I said. No, we don't, Amanda replied. Look! She pointed to the street. I squinted up and down. I gasped in shock. Bella's body. It's gone!